are you wearing? We hear celebrities being asked this question frequently on the red carpet. While seemingly a superficial inquiry into fashion, a celebrity's response speaks volumes about their style, professional connections, and wealth. And it's not just celebrities with carefully crafted images. People in general are concerned with how they portray themselves and, more importantly, how they are perceived by others. One way we build our social selves is through things, things we own and can display to our peers. Part of our motivation to do this is to construct social identity, and part is to create social competition. I'm sure some of you wear a ring on your left hand to signal that you're married. That's social identity. And maybe on your drive here today, you saw someone behind the wheel of a Tesla while you were in your Prius. That's social competition. <laughs> Materials help define who we are and who we are not. And my research aims to understand how individuals use materiality to construct social identity. But I probably don't study the types of objects you think. I study the funerary materiality of ancient Egypt. The Egyptians spent a lot of time preparing for death. Their tomb equipment included food and drink, furniture, clothing, jewelry, makeup, statuary, coffins, papyri. While the Egyptians believed that these items were necessary provisions for the afterlife, the internment of such items also acted as a form of social display and competition. Egyptian coffins, for example, were the same as that Prius and Tesla today. They both get you from point A to point B, whether that's from home, to work or from this world to the afterlife, but it's the quality of the transportation that's key to that social competition. My research focuses on funerary papyri, like the Book of the Dead. Most Egyptologists only study these documents for their religious value, but their social significance is critical for understanding the people behind the papyri. So I studied these documents and recorded the names of over 500 Egyptians, plus details about their families, careers, wealth, and status. My research brought back to life a group of Egyptians who lived 3,000 years ago and demonstrates that they felt the same anxiety and pressure to navigate the social world as we do today. By learning from the past, we as a society are better equipped to understand our own motivations to construct social identity through what we drive, what we buy, and what we wear. So, who are you wearing today, and why? Thank you.